Hello again, everybody. Jim Hickey at Bass Fishing Tips on Twitter. Uh, back to you today with a video about a giveaway package I received over this last weekend uh, from Santone Lures down in Mount Pleasant, Texas. Uh, quite a surprise a week ago Monday when I uh, happened to be drawn for that uh, package. Pretty cool package. Um, Santone's been around for a lot, lot of years, I think dating back into the 1990s, if I recall. Uh, and they're a manufacturer of high quality jigs, spinnerbaits, jig heads, rig heads, things along those lines. I ad strongly advise you check them out. The other thing I would advise you do is keep an eye peeled out at their uh, Twitter feed on every Monday around 10 a.m. Central Time uh, when they have their weekly giveaways. Uh, that's when they're held. They're held uh, from 10 a.m. Central Time on a given day till midnight. Usually happens on Mondays. Keep an eye out again on the Team Santone Twitter feed on Twitter. Um, at any rate, so what are we getting this package? Well, I'm not going to show you a cop uh, uh, the shirt because it's just too big to bring out right now. Um, but I got a nice little shirt from them, so that was pretty cool. And actually, at the opening of this video, I, I made that image, uh, taking a picture of the back of that shirt. Okay, and I received a number of jigs, a couple of spinner baits, some rig heads. Uh, pretty cool package, kind of representative of their whole uh, Santone line. Uh, so I strongly advise you go check them out at SantoneLures, I think it is, .com. At any rate, more specifically, what do we get? Well, what really interested me about Santone is their Rayburn, Sam Rayburn um, swim jig. Uh, swim jig, although I've been swimming jigs for a lot of years, I just kind of always did it with the jigs that I had, uh, which are mainly Arkin saw, excuse me, Arky style uh, head jigs. Happened to have quite a few of those. Uh, there was a company that I used their jigs. I bought a bunch of them when they were dropping one of their styles of hand style, hand, hand tied, excuse me, jigs with uh, very strong Gamagatsu hooks. Uh, so I bought all I could get at that point. So I have a million of those. Uh, so yeah, it's, I'd swim those traditionally, but the more I learned about swim jigging, and of course there, there were some issues in doing that. Doesn't quite work the way I guess uh, Many swim jigs do, do doesn't work through cover, especially weeds, as well as uh, some of the other swim jigs I've tried since. And when I saw Santones, I got really interested in, in wanting to get a hold of some of these. Uh, and it just so happens I put it, an order in the Tackle Warehouse last week before I even knew I won this. And I ordered a few uh, in that order, which actually the package just showed up and is on the floor behind me, but I haven't opened that up yet. At any rate, the Santone Sam Rayburn swim, swim jig right here. Okay. Like all of their baits, whoops, let me get this over into the field of view. They're uh, very high quality. They use high quality components. They're either going to have um, must add ultra point hooks or, in many cases, gamagatsu hooks. Okay, so, you know, ultra sharp, really quality materials, quality silicone skirts, uh, a nice uh, fire coated uh, one of the powder paint heads, nice eyes on these things. One other thing I was really impressed with on their swim jigs, not only do they have a bait keepers on them because of course we all want to put trailers on these things but they have the double bait keeper concept uh, pretty cool deal in, indeed and even though you know I, I like high hand tie jigs and this is a collar jig as you can see in here um, the fact that that's collar doesn't bother me because I'm gonna have a keeper on this and one of those double keeper hooks there a trailer excuse me on this um, that's gonna help that's gonna keep the skirt in place so even if I'm skipping it I, I can't see this thing coming off very readily and that's if that's the case a dab of super glue would take care of, care of that anyways so pretty cool little deal here um, let me see what color this is this is the mean green and 5 16 ounce again very cool swim jig I'm, I'm uh, a little bit different than like the bullet head jigs that are out there although it is kind of bullet head uh, shaped it has this little flat surface on it and uh, you know one thing that intrigues me about that is the fact that this thing might actually give it a different motion coming through the water I'm really excited about the possible the opportunity to go out and fish these and plus the one that's in the, the box down on the floor <clears throat> okay another jig that I got from them is called their uh, rattler jig I think I don't know what I did with the card for that nope, the yes the rattling jig excuse me rattling jig Okay, and again, you know, this is more of an arky. Whoops, let me get it up here where you can actually see it. This is more of, I guess, of an arky style head. Again, a nice high gloss powder paint, hardened finish, double rattles in this thing. Um, there is a 
keeper again to help keep your trailer in place when you use a trailer. You might also notice that this has a lot of flash in it. So they actually use some flashaboo in this thing. So that's pretty cool indeed. So another very cool one of their jigs. And in this case, that's a very stout... Um, let me go back to that again. I think it's a Mustad. Nope. Yeah, I think when I checked it on the site, it's like a 5-watt heavy Mustad. I don't think it's a Gamagatsu. But again, I have no trouble using Mustad Ultra Point hooks. They're very sharp, very good, good hooks indeed. Okay, so those are the two jigs that I actually opened up. Now, they also provi provide like swim bait heads. They're H2S3s. These are for swim baits. Um, this happens to be, I think, a half ounce. I got another package, I think, of a three quarter ounce. They have what are called their rig heads. Look like jig heads, but you'll notice that those hooks are really stout. Okay, really heavy duty. I think, again, ultra, uh, ultra point must add hooks. Um, I can see using these actually on swim baits even more commonly than these because I don't usually use heavier jig heads on those. They have finesse jigs. I didn't open these up, but they come in two packs. These have uh, three hot, three hot, excuse me, Gamagatsu hooks, ultra, ultra sharp hooks. Again, nice high quality finish. Uh, one of the other things I noticed on many of the jigs, Santone also color codes the. Uh, the keepers, the uh, excuse me, the the fiber weed guards. So that's pretty cool. And of course, like all finesse jigs, they have a little collar that comes out with the ends that, that come out. So pretty cool little deal there. Package of their piglet football heads. Okay, I can use these for I guess shaky heads. Uh, although this isn't a traditional football, the bottom of these heads are flat. So that that's kind of a cool little deal there. And these have five watt gamagatsu hooks. Again, these guys use really quality materials in their baits. And then the spinner baits that I received. I received two. One of their M series. Okay, nice double willow leaf. And uh, I think it's called Toledo Perch is, is the pattern. As you can see here. Let me turn that around. Okay. Nice high quality material. Again, uh, I, I think that's those are ultra point must add uh, three or four rod hooks, double willow leaves, ball bearing swivels, light wire design. Pretty cool little deal. And then I received one of their Got five, which I guess uh, Elite Bass Pro Matt Heron helped them design. Uh, in this case, it's a Colorado uh, teamed with a small, smaller willow. This is three eighths in size as well. But one thing you you may oops, <laughs> reverse this around. Uh, may or may not notice here that this thing is a smaller frame, okay, than the M series. Hold these things up side by side, okay. And you know when I saw this, what I thought of this, you know, there's there was a bit, there's a company here in New Hampshire uh, who has since got out of business that made uh, another small frame bait, and they marketed it towards people fishing for smallmouth during the summer on the flats up here because you have to work those really quickly as a very subtle action and smallmouth climb all over them. Uh, I know that there's another company, uh, Striking, <coughs> that makes one, uh, the Burner or Scorcher or something like that. And Kevin Van Dam actually used that in a in the Major League Fishing. Uh, event in northern Michigan last year, I think on the last day of the tournament, to basically capture the win. Okay, that again, small frame, you had to work quickly across the flats, put an erratic action on it, and really uh, drive them home. So, they not only make you know just traditional spinner baits, okay, but they make a smaller frame one for again, special specialized applications, more subtle um, applications. Anyways, I hope that gives you an idea of. Santone and what their baits are all about. Again, very high quality components. I strongly recommend you visit them on Twitter, visit their Facebook page, uh, visit their website, which is SantoneLures.com. Okay, and uh, that's it for now. I'll be back with uh, more later. Have a great day.